everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this pretty card here, but I also wanted to share the wonderful new release of the Father Christmas stamps and dies. So this is just come out now. I'll share all the links below. It's so lovely. So these are the samples that I've made as part of the launch. There's a few others going around as well, so do check them out. But I want to show you how to make this one, and I've also done another one, which I will show you tomorrow. Okay, so that tutorial, they're going to come back to back because there's another special card and I'm going to show you how to make that one. These two here, this is just an easel card, so it's pretty straightforward. Lots of you know how to do that, so I don't need to show you the tutorial of this one separately. But I've done this as like a decoupage and I've coloured it all. This is an embossing folder that's in the set. The dog and the cat, well, yeah, the dog and the cat. <laughs> Love the little sentiment there. Happy blooming Christmas to you too. All folds flats, five by seven. Beautiful, beautiful card. And then this one here is using this embossing folder here. And I've just distressed the back there to look like a dark night sky. And then I've coloured Santa and the reindeer there. And then it just says jingle all the way. And I've used some lovely mirrored cardstock. Really, really pretty. And hopefully by now, by the time this comes out, you would have seen this release anyway. And you would have seen it shared on social media and everywhere else. So... But the one that I do want to do a tutorial on is this gorgeous one. I just absolutely love it. It does stand all freely there. It's just because I'm holding it back. He's kind of falling there. But you've got the moon. The whole thing folds flat. So you can have it either way there. It will, sit, it will fit perfectly within a 6x6 six six envelope. I love this here. And then I've tried to create like the street lights in the background there. And just look at the rooftops. I think it's just such a lovely card. And then on the back, you've got plenty of space there to be able to write your message. So this is one I'm going to show you how to make. So here is the newest collection. So you've got these two embossing folders here and then you've got these stamp and die sets. This one here is what I used to create this card. Such a lovely nice big image there and it's very easy to colour. And then that was the background, that was the embossing folder. So that here, this stamp and this die fits perfectly with all of this. That's why it's really nice for creating a decoupage layered card. So that's that one. And then for today's, I am using, I'm not using that embossing folder, that is what was used on this one here. Okay, so that's that one. But we're using this one today. So this is the one with Santa and the sleigh. You've also got these footprints, which are really fun. Ho, ho, ho. And then we've got the moon die there. And then you've got your stamps. Really, really lovely. So I've used the rooftop. I've already gone and coloured all these. I used my alcohol markers. I used the Nova markers for these ones, actually. So I went ahead and stamped three of the chimney tops, which is this one here. I just didn't ink up this long piece because that creates the top of the roof. I just focused on this. Very easy to cut out, okay? Then I done this one here, but I stamped them side by side. So I used my stamping platform, stamped it once, and then just moved the stamp across. And if you do get it and you want to join them up better, you can use a little black pen there just to join it up, but it was fine. Again, went and coloured that using similar colours here because I just wanted the houses to all look quite the same, like a terrace of houses there. And then I've done the moon. And I just put, all I done there was just put a ring of grey just around the outer side there. And then I went ahead and stamped Santa in his sleigh and I just coloured it. And I've coloured it within keeping of the actual movie. So if you just type in the Father Christmas, you'll get lots of the the kind of book strips, the comic strips, however you want to, I don't, you know, I don't know what exactly what it is, but it's all there and you can actually see the colours that were used. So I tried to stick with that. Then I have gone ahead and coloured this background or done my blended background here so this piece measures it's going to be that way this is three and seven eighths of an inch by five and three quarters and I just started with the yellow and then worked my way up to the blue and for that I've used the distress oxide mustard seed and then I have used the chip sapphire and then kind of in the middle I've used some faded jeans and that's all the distress oxides Okay, I'll link those in my video, in my blog. And then this little piece is for the front, and this again is three and seven eighths of an inch by two and three quarters. This is a piece of 11 and three quarters. It's just A4 default length by six. If you have 11 inch, I will put the measurements for that in my blog, okay? Because I know a lot of people will have 11 inch letter paper size. So along the long side, you want to score at four and one eighths of an inch, five and five eighths of an inch, nine and three quarters of an inch, and 11 and a quarter. So you should have roughly a half inch piece on the end here. Then you want to rotate it so that the half inch tab is at the top, okay? And then just so that we get the fold going the right way, flip it over. 
and then you want to score it three inches all the way down past that first score line, past the second score line, past the third score line, and you're going down to the fourth. Okay? You don't want to go right to the end because this is our back panel. This is this piece here, and we don't want any score lines. We just want that nice and complete. So that's why we leave the score lines so that stays intact. Okay, so like I said, the score lines will all be in my blog, but I will give measurements if you are using letter paper size. Okay, now you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, next we are going to remove this whole section here. So you'll have this lovely big piece. So you'll have this big piece here on the right, and then you'll have everything above this score line. We're going to take that all out, okay? Actually cutting to remove the score line, so I'm cutting just below it. If you want to use your trimmer, then you can, because it's quite a long kind of piece to cut. And then again, down this side, I'm removing the score line. Okay, and what's going to happen is that's all going to wrap around. That's going to stick on the back. You won't see any of that because we will stick this piece over there. And we're also going to add in our little pieces to stick everything to. Now, this piece here, don't throw away because we're now going to use these pieces to make these little bits here. These little tabs. Because the width and the fold is exactly the same as here. It's going to go inside. So what you want to do is grab your trimmer, it's a good way not to have too much waste. So along the short side I'm just popping it in here and I'm just going to tidy off that edge actually because I want to make sure, so let's just, there you go because I cut down that freehand so it just tidies that off. So you want to have two pieces that are half an inch thick so there's three so I'm just going to bring it to two and a half and then cut and now I've got that half inch piece okay and then do that again so I'm going to bring it down to two and then I've got that one there and get rid of all of this and then you'll have this long piece with the two folds and you'll have another little fold on the end because that was what was our tab but you basically want to keep this piece but either side of the score line you want to have half an inch and that's just going to be our little tabs to stick it together so all I'm going to do here is that score line, so I'm going to line it up with the half inch in my trimmer. So you can see now I've just got a little half inch one. Again, pop this one in. Okay, so now this piece will go inside of here. Once it all sticks together, it will be like that. So just, yeah, don't go get, you know, cutting a brand new piece of card just to get your little pieces for inside. Just use your scraps. So just tidy that one off. So now I've got those two. You might want to have three. You might have, you know, something else that you want to stick in there and you might want to have a few more. You've got plenty of room on that piece that you cut out. And then what I like to do is I just trim off that and then that piece will go into my scrap drawer because that's quite a nice size to put a sentiment on. Some people might keep these as well, but for me they're too small, they end up going in my recycling bin. Okay, so now we want to start getting this stuck down. So with these pieces here, I'm just going to grab my glue. And you want to pop a little bit of glue on one side. And then you've got your tab and this piece all on your right hand side. You're working within this little rectangle here. You just want to bring it down by about a quarter of an inch and bring it in from that score line by about a quarter of an inch. I just bring it up close so you can see. So just stuck that half. Just come in from there about a quarter of an inch, come down. Okay. So that's that one. While that's drying, get your next one. Again, put some glue on that tab. And you want to butt up the folded side to the edge of that one that you just stuck down. Again, I'll just bring that up so you can see what I've done there. So you can see where I've stuck the fold of that one to the edge of this one here. So they roughly have that half inch between them. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. Then, don't worry if they're a little bit off like that. It's, oh, I can line them up. It doesn't matter as long as you fold and do all this next bit um, this way because then they will at least lie down flat and everything will be in place. So just put glue at the ends of each one and then what you want to do is keep it lie down flat and fold this over making sure they fold with it. 
Okay, if I just spring that open, can you see where they start to stick? I just want to make sure that has completely stuck down. So just fold it back on them and they will fold down flat as you do it. And now when I bring it up, can you see? So we've got this one here to stick onto and we've got this one here. If you want to go further back you can, but I do like mine quite far forward. So then we want to pop glue on this tab here. Now also you might want to stick your back on first, but I don't want to have this tab overlapping this, so that's why I'm doing it last. But if you find it easier to do it that way and you're not too worried, because by the time some people fill up the pop boxes, they um that's what this is, pop-up box card. I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning, they um it all gets covered anyway. Okay. And then just practice folding it all flat. Because again, that is how it's going to go in the envelope. And you can see it freely will go either way there. Again, bring that up and you can see where we've got these pieces inside. Then I'm going to grab this one here. Pop glue on the back. Pop that all inside. And you will have a nice even border. And then this one here is going to go on the front. Okay, next I want to stick these pieces down. Now these I'm going to stick directly onto the cardstock. It's only going to be the Santa and his sleigh that's going to be on acetate and I'm going to stick that piece down last. So for these ones here I'm just going to pop some glue on the front there and this one is going to go on the back of the front piece here. It's not even going to be on one of the tabs. So I'm going to pop that one there. And this one here is going to be on the front of the, is going to be on the other side of the front. So again, still not sticking it on the tabs. This one is then going to go on the next one back. As you can see there where I've got them staggered. And then my Father Christmas is going to go at the back. But this I do want to have on the acetate because I like the look of him floating. Okay, so I've got a piece of acetate here which is half an inch by it's up to you I mean you want him to obviously be within that area there it doesn't matter that he overhangs because when that all goes flat he will stay within that section he's a little bit higher there but again this is a sample one so that one this one I'm doing now I'll just reduce him down a little bit so he does fit into an envelope so let me just grab red tape here whenever you're using acetate it's always good to use the red tape because that sticks really well a liquid glue will just end up peeling off. So I'm just going to pop a couple of strips there. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop it just behind him here. Now what I will also do is die cut another one of these in white and stick it on the back because that way it just gets rid of that, um, all the alcohol that's bled through there, the alcohol marker, and I'll do the same on that one. So yeah, just die cut another one in plain white and stick it on the back. So now when I pop that in there, I just want him to be a little bit lower but still on a slope. I want it to look like he's just kind of left one of the rooftops and he's now heading off to another one or off back to the North Pole. So just kind of, if you have to kind of use your judgment, I'm just going to pop my finger roughly. That's where I need to stick. So you're looking, again, if you're using the same thing as me, my, now, my acetate is now three inches, but I'm going to cover about a quarter of an inch of it. Okay, so now I can just kind of sit this behind the last one, make sure it's on an angle, about there. There we go. Again, it does stand like that. You can see now how he just floats around really nicely. That's that one. Then I have my moon. Pop a little foam dot on the back there and I'm going to have it so that it's behind the reindeers, just a little bit lower just so you can see it. But again, I like the thought, you know, you can see the them just going past the moon there. That's cute. Then with these ones here, I now need to kind of cut it all down to size. So I'm going to trim along the bottom so it's nice and straight. And those are going to sit right along the bottom. Now I want to cut kind of an equal amount off of each side so that, you know, you've got two full houses, I guess, there in the middle and then a little bit off of here. So you want to do it the same width of your pattern paper, which is three and seven eighths of an inch. So I'm going to turn this upside down. There's my three and seven eighths. So I just want to kind of do it, I think about there. And I'm just going to flip it over, three and seven eighths. 
gonna go a little bit just and then just trim that bit there there we go I'm gonna use I don't like wasting any of this so a couple of the dots at the top this strip along the bottom and then I'll pop that piece in there because a lot of people throw this away but you get a lot of the you know no one ever sees any of this so you might as well use it all pop that bit up there I just thought again this looked nice with it kind of raised because you can see it creates a shadow so again just all adds to that kind of nighttime look that I was going for so I'm just going to take all the backing off and then I'm just going to stick this you might want to do all this before but I like to do it when it's actually in its 3d form when I'm kind of putting cards together from scratch because I can get to really see how everything's going to look so I'm just going to secure all that down there we go how cool is this? I just adore it so much, it's so cute. Okay, next I'm going to die cut the Ho 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 and I'm just gonna use some silver cardstock there. I just love how that catches the light. Okay, so I just put some of my, this is the double-sided adhesive tape sheets. So I just popped, I just cut a piece out, popped it onto the back of the silver cardstock, then just die cut this through. So now this is all sticky on the back, so it turns them into little stickers. And whenever you're working with mirrored cardstock, it's it's good to do. So I'm just taking off the backing there. So they're all sticky. It all kind of comes out. I think all the rest has already come off. Yeah, it has. So you can just lay this down and pop them out, but I prefer to do it one by one. Just, yeah, I just find it a little bit easier so whatever works for you I might use my little tweezers here as well but that's sticky now it's a little sticker and then I just managed to squeeze this in so I know I need to come quite high up okay so there you have it I think they are just so cute they really do make me smile when I look at these they're a little bit different but just lots and lots of fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed making these and colouring them and everything. And like I said, you've got all that room on the back there. You could also stamp some more of the images there. You could stamp the moon on the back or do some more of the houses if you wanted to. There's lots of ways to do some more with it. But uh, yeah, no, I think they're great. So I hope you've enjoyed them. Hope you like the new collection. I think it's awesome. So please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.